guys are welcome to DSS G Nation. So if this is your first time watching a video from DSS G Nation, do make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so we can notify you when we create any video. So today we are going to be talking about how to draw the kidney. So I'm going to be giving you tips on how to draw the organ kidney. So pick your paper and your pen and let's get started. Hi guys. Yeah, welcome back. So I said I'm going to be giving you tips on how to draw the kidney. So to start with, we know that kidney is a bean shaped organ, right? So I'm going to bring in the bean shape first. So that's the bean shape. Now remember that kidney has three, three coverings. So you can just trace the line again three times. So how do you do that? Come in again with the second line. So follow the same pattern. So and lastly, we said it has three coverings, right? So you bring in the third covering. Now, after that, what next? The next thing you are going to do is to repeat the same thing within this diagram. Now, but let's start with the gray blaze actually. So this guy here is the renal fascia. Renal fascia. So the next one here is the renal fat. And the last one, the innermost um, covering right here, is the renal capsule. Renal capsule. Now, this layer lying directly under the renal capsule is called the cortex. So, for the sake of space, let's develop it to the other side. Cortex. Now, what next after the cortex? We know it's the inner layer, which is the medulla. So, how do you do that? You bring in the bean shape again into this very diagram. So, let's do that now. So. Now, just rub it off. Make it a dotted line. So, start rubbing it off. So you can just stop right here or hide one more. So what are you going to do? The next thing you are going to do is just to start introducing a V. So, but not let, let it not be a sharp one. Let it be um, a slightly curved V. So this place is too sharp now and it shouldn't be. So let it just be a little bit curved. So one, then you bring in another V. So, another one with this. So, another one. So, bring in another one. So, it's going to turn to, it's going to, turn to something like A now. So, after that, what are you going to do? You start bringing in a strider. The lines, but make sure the line does not reach this curved end, this pointed end. So, bring in the lines. So, and that is going to form the renal pyramid. Renal pyramid. If you know nothing about the kidney, just make sure you stay tuned on this channel. So, we are going to start the description of the renal system. I mean, the anatomy and the physiology. So by right, then you are going to understand the kidney. So keep putting in the lines. Now, so these structures they are called the renal pyramid, renal pyramid and they are found within the medulla 
So medulla, which is the inner most layer. So after that, what next? So we are going to start putting the, um, some kind of curve into the words, into the inner pyramid. So it forms an opening or an outlet. So that outlet is called the um, renal papilla, or you call it the foramen papilla, either of the two. So, papilla. So after that, start writing your V again. But this time around, it should be from this edge, the edge of that curve, to the other edge. So, and then you can make it as long as you want. So, as long as you want. And you can make it as short as you want. So, this one is short now. So, these guys are long here. So, start putting in your V. So, here it's going to turn to like A. So, after doing that, just come, just come out like this to form the ear tab. So, then from here, let it be curved. So, out like that. So, this smaller structure here, they are called the calyx. So, the calyx. So, around here is going to be called the minor calyx. Minor calyx. So, this is a minor calyx, this is another minor calyx, here is another minor calyx, minor calyx, minor calyx, minor calyx, minor calyx. So, they are going to convert here to form the major calyx. Major calyx. So, after doing that, here, this guy on just around here is the renal pelvis. Renal pelvis. So, after that, what next? Very simple, just bring in your artery. Your renal artery and then your renal vein. So this one is the renal artery and this one is the renal vein. So the quarter of entry is called it on, but I don't want to make this diagram up with it. Let's just leave it that way. So with this diagram, you should be able to get all your mark towards for the description of the kidney. So after putting the diagram of the kidney, actually. So we have how many levels now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have not labeled the ureter itself. So ureter. So that marks the end of this video. I want to believe that you should be able to draw it now. Just make sure you watch the video over and over again. And before you know it, you are going to be a master at drawing the kidney. So that marks the end of this video that I said earlier. So if you like this video, do make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time watching the video from the SSG Nation, do make sure you subscribe and you hit the bell button so we can notify you when I create a new video. Hi guys.